हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक सॉरी एम एफ टी एंड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू द फाइनाइट चार्ज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू द इनफाइनाइट लाइन चार्ज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड ऑल्सो वन केस ऑफ फाइनाइट चार्ज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दिस इज द सेकेंड केस ऑफ द पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू द फाइनाइट लाइन चार्ज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन आई होप यू रिमेंबर वॉट वी डिड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी फाउंड आउट पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू द इनफाइनाइट चार्ज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फ्रॉम द फॉर्मूला ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी आई ऑलरेडी न्यू वॉट वॉज द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी ड्यू टू द इनफाइनाइट लाइन चार्ज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन देन आई यूज द फॉर्मूला V is equal to minus integration of e dot dl. So this formula will be giving me the potential. Okay, and the next case I found out the small potential due to a small element dl or dr over here. Which is having the small charge dQ. Okay, in the sim similar manner here also I have the small element dr which is carrying the charge dQ. This is my line charge distribution of the length l. Okay, in that case I had the point P here. Okay, now my point P is here. If I extend the line of this line charge distribution, my point P will be. present on this line itself okay so here also we will be using the formula to find out the potential due to this infinitesimal charge if i know the point charge i know the potential due to the point charge okay so the potential due to the point charge will be given as dv it will be equal to dq upon 4 pi epsilon not r so because point p is at the distance r from this dq point okay so now here i have taken this length to be x the point p to the point let's suppose this is point a and this is the point b okay the point a is where the line charge distribution is starting and the point b is where it is ending so the uh, distance between p and a is x the distance between a and b is the length of our line charge distribution which is capital l okay now coming to the lambda lambda is the line charge density lambda is equal to dq upon dr for this case if i have taken the small charge dq and the small length dr lambda will be dq upon dr so how i can represent lambda okay so dq will be equal to lambda into dr okay so now in this formula i can put the value of dq okay so now here i have taken this point charge at some point which is at the distance r if i have to find out the potential the full potential this was a infinitesimal potential due to this infinitesimal charge if i have to find out the full potential due to this full charge i will be integrating from where okay so here uh, let's put the values first so it is lambda dr upon 4 pi epsilon not r okay i am considering it is vacuum okay so here lambda and 4 pi epsilon not i can take out from the integration and we will be left out with dr upon r but first i need to know the integration limit from where dr is changing what is the limit of changing of dr you can see dr i can take over here or over here or somewhere in between so how the dr is changing dr is changing from the distance x this point a is at the distance x and this point b this is the uppermost limit of dr okay so what is the uppermost limit it will be x plus l okay this is how we can put the limits now our task is reduced and now i can take lambda upon 4 pi epsilon not common integration limits are from x to x plus l and dr upon r now i know this integration okay so i will be just putting okay so the integration of 1 upon r dr will be ln of r integration limits are x 
from x up to x plus l. So let's put the integration limit. Now ln of a minus ln of b, it will be ln of a upon b. So it will be lambda upon 4 pi epsilon naught ln of x plus l upon x. Or I can simplify it further. I can write it to be lambda upon 4 pi epsilon naught ln upon 1 plus l upon x. So this is the potential due to the finite charge distribution when my point is on the axis. Here my point P is present here. Okay, I extended this line only and the point P is lying over here. So I hope you understood how I found out the potential and I hope now you will be finding out the potential due to any of the point which is present nearby to the line charge distribution if it is finite or if it is infinite i hope you understood each and everything this was a very simple derivation if you found out any difficulty during the derivation you can put the doubt in the comment or you can reach out to me i hope you like this video if you like it you can share it with your friends subscribe to the channel and push the like button thank you so much